Hey, shit. Welcome back to Nisa Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the daily collective reading for Wednesday, March 23rd. This is for Wednesday, March 23rd. Now, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. All right, let's see. What do we have for the collective for Wednesday, March 23rd? Using my African goddess oracle deck. All right. Yeah, I like this card. It says good juju. <laughs> Yeah, good juju. That's what we want around. Okay, bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck says live out loud. Listen, somebody is getting their life this week. Okay, <laughs> like seriously. All of their life. That's what's up. Okay, <laughs> let's see what that message is. It's number seven. And live out loud is number 31. Reduces the four. Okay, grounding, stable energy. All right, number seven. That's about, that's the number of the divine. Number seven, number of the, the divine. Okay, so it says this. This is a time of increase for you. You are heiress to a rich heritage of divine prosperity. Accept your ancestral inheritance. Good juju is abundance. Luck is being supported by the universe. Abundance is the God slash goddess way, okay? Just as you want abundance for those who come after you, your creator embraces wealth for you too. So the declaration says, all I do is win. <laughs> Listen! Yes, I accept this reading. Yeah. Okay. All I do is win. Good juju. <laughs> That's what you should say. That's what you should say to somebody. Hey, they say something to you today. But mm -mm, all I do is win. Good juju. That's what you say. Let's see. Why is good juju here for my collective? Good juju. Yes, abundance being bestowed on my collective spirit. Why is good juju here? Okay. We accept. Okay, so with the king of materials here, this is king of pentacles. This can, this is a father figure. This can be um, a businessman. This is someone that's good with finances. He's a stable, masculine energy. Doesn't have to be a guy. Mm -hmm. This is someone that's giving an offer or communication of love, okay? A loving message, okay? Wanting some type of victory with you. Wanting to accomplish something. Maybe even just wanting your attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They want to accomplish something. Yeah. With the Six of Cups and the Ace of Swords, they want to, tell, they want to talk about the past. They want to tell you the truth. Okay? This is justice that has taken a long time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you just 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 float on it, okay, collective and see. What is it that you've been waiting a long time to get that truth about? Okay. Good juju for my club. Here it is. This is someone that abandoned you with the Five of Pentacles energy. This is someone that left you out in the cold, abandoned you. Um, 
anything. This can be a father, okay? Like if your father left, if your um, husband left, if or not even left, just abandoned you in whatever way. Set you on the cover. Neglected you in whatever way, okay? But this nine of swords energy, this is, um, this can represent a lot. This can represent overanalyzing. This can represent, you know, creating stress when there's really nothing to stress about. This is self-sabotaging energy, all right? But I feel like this message is coming to you because what they've done or what they did, their actions, is stressing them out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's driving them crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, the Hierophant energy with the Nine of Wands. This is someone that has been through something themselves, maybe. Okay? Maybe you've been through things with this person with the Nine of Wands energy. So there's like guards up. Okay? Definitely with the Hierophant energy, it could be someone who has an anxiety around like long-term commitments. Mm -hmm. It's this can be even like someone who has been through like bad relationships before. Mm -hmm. They want to tell you a secret. Okay. So you're getting like some truth, okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This is like with the Queen of Wands energy and the Magician, this is like um, someone who might have been real confident and what they were doing in the past, okay? Let's say you try to give someone advice on something and they, they didn't want to listen. They were real confident about what they were doing, what the direction they were going, what they were creating. They knew it all. This can be even someone apologizing for their ego, okay? Yeah. But with the five of wands energy, okay, this is like constant battle. No. Obstacles. Yeah. In in the in the situations where they felt so confident in their creation. It's like it's like someone is is humbling themselves. Yeah. Because they took some time to reflect with the hermit energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To heal, okay, with the star energy. To um, recover. Mm -hmm. So that they can, so they can communicate to you. Okay. So that they can come and talk to you. Okay, so just live out loud here on the bottom. I feel like this communication is creating some type of stability. Okay, King of Wands kind of fell out on my lap. This, um, uh, because of the um, number 31. So, too. Number 31 says this live out loud. The way you express yourself won't make everyone happy. That's okay. You are not meant to. Living out loud and self-expression look different for everyone. For outgoing extroverts, self-expression may mean dancing on tables and screaming your points of view. Introverts may speak out in other ways and save the louder parts of their personalities for loved ones. Your declaration says, 
I am free to express myself fully, okay? So everyone expresses themselves differently, okay? Someone else, I mean, someone might go into a shell, you know, if they're an introvert. Another person might scream. No, one thing that I do, like when I'm really upset about something, I cry. So if I'm really upset, pissed, I'm going to cry. Not because I'm like emotionally sad. It's because I'm just that infuriated. <laughs> like, it's like, you know, like, how dare you take me to that point? <laughs> like, so why is live out loud here for the collective? Okay. Okay. So, with this higher for energy in the world, this can mean a lot. This can mean someone that is ending a commitment. This is mean someone that is done with doing things the way that they are used to doing them. Okay. The um, higher for energy, and I just saw 11, 11. The higher for energy is like traditional values, doing things the way they're done. They're always been done. Okay. And the world energy is saying closing that cycle, stopping that okay because the five of wands here and the hangman someone is seeing that to be like a a, a direct conflict to their their um to their growth is like they're seeing that it's keeping them stagnant okay yeah yeah keeping them stuck okay with the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, this is moving on to something that is more um, balanced, okay? Yeah, moving on to calmer waters, like done giving, I'm done participating, moving on to calmer waters, right? Wanting something more balanced, okay? With the Eight of Swords energy, okay, that self-imposed restriction was keeping someone like stuck in the past. Okay. So Spirit is like, can't keep doing things the way that you've always done them. Okay. Yeah, but someone choosing to like not do things the way they've always done them, okay? It's giving them now options, okay? Giving them choices, okay? And the directions that go with the Ember energy, they're ready. They're feeling more empowered, okay? Yeah, and ready to, to go towards something stable or someone stable, okay? Temperance here is like being at balance, being balanced, okay? And my fears and my emotions okay um with the sun and the moon it's like things that weren't clear are clear and i'm balanced in how i feel about things and how i want to go about things and what i want for my life okay someone is speaking their truth about something it's like it's been a long time coming but you're getting a wish fulfilled here good job so that's what i have for you should i hope this helped I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye.